It was a frightening day for police called to corral a real raging bull. That's for sure. Police were forced to shoot the animal after it caused an accident on the highway and charged at officers. NBC 10's Kennedy Buck is live in Rainham with details. Kennedy? Yeah, Gene, Patrice, that several hour chase led to the bull being shot near here, this Raynham Center Water District building. No one died, but it was still a scary and unexpected day for the community. It was a very, very big animal. Um, it was bred and fed to, to be used as food, so those are very large animals. A 1,300-pound bull was on the loose in Raynham for several hours Monday morning, something that started after nearby farm workers were trying to put the bull onto a truck to take to the slaughterhouse, but it ended up escaping. We were frightened. <laughs> uh, it, it's something you don't see every day, especially in this area. We do have some farms. Uh, we've had, you know, goats and sheep get loose, uh, an occasional uh, small cow. Um, but very rare, very rare. I've never in the history, I've been here for 21 years, I've seen a bull loose. The bull was spotted on Jennings Drive towards Elm Street East and then near I-495, where it ended up being the cause of a multi-vehicle crash. Police say their experience with this was limited. An animal that size, they really didn't, weren't equipped as well in the immediate area. Officers finally came face to face with a bull near Raynham Center Water District building where shots had to be fired. A farm owner, who was on the scene, who was a legal gun owner and hunter, retrieved his hunting rifle and effectively euthanized the bull. As for what to do if this happens again. Today, there's a lot of livestock in areas, um, but there's also wild animals because um, there's not a lot of places for them to go. So anytime uh, you encounter a wild animal, uh, livestock, or just somebody's dog that you don't recognize, I would suggest you never approach, um, you back away. Police tell me there will be no charges or fines towards the farm workers on their end. Reporting in Raynham, Kennedy Buck, NBC 10 News.